What up, y'all? It's your man, Apple American. You know, um, I recently talked to a friend, uh, and uh, I was kind of shocked at some of the things that he said, because this guy, when it comes down to intelligence and accomplishments, he's above average. He has a couple of degrees in, like, you know, hard skills, engineering. He's uh, just an all-around smart guy. But, um, despite his spectacular intelligence and accomplishments in terms of education, he's really living a regular life. And, um, I contacted him about some ideas. You guys know I work in construction. And one thing that he can do is, uh, CAD, computer-assisted design. And so I wanted to design some tools, uh, because there's things that the guys are doing on site that are just brute force. It's just like, it makes no sense to be doing it the way we do it. And then so when I went and I looked online for tools, you know, so I could, you know, because basically I'm supposed to be along the lines of project management also. So I was like, okay, let me find the tools, give it to the, you know, procurement guy, and then he orders the tools. Tools don't exist for the jobs that I want done. No matter what I search, how I search, there is no tool for about four jobs that we, that, that we do regularly on site. Those tools don't exist. So... We have an existing problem, and we don't have an existing tool. And I was like, okay, wow, so there's potential here. I hit him up because I want to, you know, give him specifications of the parts that, you know, guys are using and they need the tools to work with, you know, so we can design the tool, you know, put things together, pull things apart, do this, do that, whatever else. And um, he starts, you know, talking about, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I have no life. And he, he quite literally, in his own words, said, you know, I'm just working, waiting to get old, and then die. Guys, don't ever, you know, if I told you my life story, you guys, if you lived my life story, you'd probably kill yourself. You know, but one thing you can never do is you can never surrender. You can't just give up. And especially when you are a talented and a skilled person. You know, this is what that burden of male performance is all about. And this is something, this is a mentality that he doesn't have. The concept of the burden of performance. And not only that, he only has, as far as I know, he only has the tribe of his wife. Now, that's bad on two fronts. So guys, whatever you do, Make sure you don't fall into any sort of like depression. Always remember, it's just a battle. Life is always going to be a battle. It's never going to end. You never get a day off. You may take a day off. You may go chill, relax, whatever else and all that type of stuff. But life is still creeping up on you. Life is still like coming to smack you in the teeth. And so you can't take a day off. Two, you need to have homies around you. You need to have actual true brothers around you who care about you, you know, look out for you. And, um, you know, they keep pushing you to do better and be better. Even if it's through, even if it's passively through what they're doing. You know, I got homies, they, they're doing better and it inspires me to keep on doing better myself. So you got to do the same thing. You know, you got to surround yourself with people who inspire you to achieve and improve. I don't know, man. I just thought, I thought that was important to talk to you guys about because it's like, you know, I, I find it odd. And, and unfortunate that you know that such a talented, smart guy. He's probably one of the smartest guys I know. Quite literally, I'm not just saying that because I'm talking about him. I'm saying this guy. He's just smart. He's really smart. You know, but I don't know. I can't say he's not driven. He's finished multiple degrees. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I just know it's not necessary. Don't let it happen to you guys. There's always a way out. Sometimes, sometimes it's just patience and you just got to, you know, when it comes down to that crap, sometimes you just got to bite, chew, and swallow and go through it, man. You know, but giving up isn't an option. Well, maybe you don't want, maybe you do want to give up on eating a crap sandwich. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, this is your man, Abu American. Stay up and stay on it, you know. Um, and don't let the world get to you because that's what it's designed to do, to drag you down. And just, just for, you know, for proper understanding and full context this guy he's very religious he knows his religion very well and um you know he practices his religion very well as far as i know 
So it's not like, you know, a lack of religious practice or iman or anything like this. So anyway, guys, stay up. This is your man, Alvin America. We'll catch you tonight or excuse me, you know, we'll catch you uh, on the next live show. I'm out.